How did it go? Did you get us some food? How about medicine? I'm sorry, everyone. I didn't get any food or supplies today. We appreciate you trying. <laughs> but I didn't come back empty handed. You said you wanted to hear a sermon. And by gosh, you're getting a sermon. Matthew 25, verses 35 and 36. For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. For I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you looked after me. I was in prison, and you came to visit me. Glad to see you still using that. Sorry for keeping it this long. I was planning on bringing it mm, back soon. Keep it. That's not why I'm here today. Oh, and why are you here? I took up a collection in church yesterday, and I thought you folks might be able to use this. You have no idea what this means to us. Great. Everyone, help yourselves. This is quite the flock you have here. They're good people. Well, how did they all wind up down here? Lots of reasons. Jim lost his family to a car crash about three years ago. The accident left him with a bad leg. That meant he couldn't work in the warehouse anymore. Sarah's been here longer than me. She used to be addicted to pills. Messed her life up real bad. She lost everything and everyone. But with the help of the Lord above and a lot of support from the good folk right here, we got her through it. Good. Tracy's husband died from cancer about a year back. Oh, no. She went broke trying to keep up with the hospital bills, which, along with losing her husband, put her into a deep depression. She lost her job, friends, and eventually her house. We're doing what we can to help bring her back from the darkness. You know, I had no idea that so many people living so close to my church had such needs. It's not your fault, Reverend. We try to keep out of sight around this place. Neither the people nor the cops around here take kindly to us. You know, I just might have an idea that'll fix that. But I'm gonna need your help. are you doing here? I already explained to you last week that you can't be here. What are you doing here? I already explained to you last week that you can't be here. No, Sandra. These are my guests. What? You invited them? Why? Because it was the right thing to do. No, it's dangerous is what it is. No. These are good people. Just like you. And like you. They want to hear the word of the Lord, and who are we to deny them? This is outrageous, Reverend. What has gotten into you? A good friend of mine reminded me of Matthew 25, 35. He said, for I was hungry, and you gave me food. For I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. For I was a stranger, and you took me in. And that verse is about compassion for strangers in need. And I know this community has compassion. And just last week, I asked all of you to donate clothing, food, and medical supplies for those who are in need. And you happily delivered. So look around. These are all the people that your donations helped. But I ask, why should our Charity and goodwill in here. We are able to donate food and clothing to these good people, but we can't share our pews with them. For too long, we've ignored the suffering of our fellow community members. We've shunned them, forced them into the shadows so that we can pretend that they don't exist. I say no more. Amen. We will no longer judge these people. We will not avoid them. We will embrace them and invite them into our house of worship. Come on, be good neighbors and introduce yourself to our latest parishioners. 
Make them welcome. Come on. I'm so sorry for the way I act. Peace be with you, brother. And also with you. Thank you. I'm sorry, too. Maybe we could start over? Thank you. 